From William C. Denny Stadium at South River High School, TV35 Sports is proud to bring you the opening game of the 2021 season, your South River Rams. Your South River Rams versus the South Plainfield Tigers. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Art Londensky, along with the voice of South River Sports, Fred Roselli. Good, evening. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we get started, in case you missed our preseason, a uh, big shout-out to Drew Pearson, recently honored, inducted into the National Football League Hall of Fame. Uh, Drew's a good friend, classmate, and I had the great opportunity of being out there for the inductions. He was just thrilled to finally get into it. Like I said on, uh, at our uh, sports talk earlier this week, long overdue and well-deserved. Um, talk about well-deserved. Rams getting ready for their big season here, star opener today. They're going to be coming in, going against the Saint South Plainfield Tigers. Rams, speaking with the coaches, they are ready. One of the big pluses, already, they have depth this year. Yeah, a veteran a, team. They're 15 seniors. And you got their offensive line, identical to last year, same players. Uh, they got depth with running backs, depth with the receivers. Hopefully everybody can stay healthy. Defense has to pick it up a notch. That It was a little bit of a, a tough time last year with our defense. Everybody's solidified, and I think we're going to be having a, a good season here for the Rams. Uh, Ryan Kurtz is returning as our quarterback. He's had a great third-year starter. Um, backfield, look for Marcus Grandiero, DeAndre Mars. They're going to be back there. Receivers, they are plentiful. they got tight end Jordan Crawford. they got Jeffrey Ferrer, wide receiver and slot Joe Lapour, Jihad Bright, uh, Devon Wilson, they got players all around that can fill slots if they're called upon. And in speaking with Coach, these guys are ready. They're getting ready to come out onto the field right now. There's the Rams coming out. They're going to be going under. We're going to get ready for our team introductions. And we're going to be starting out introducing our South River Rams offensive players. Well, Fred, I can never remember a, pre, a regular season game in August. This is a first, but it's a nice day for football. Perfect football weather. Not too hot, not too cold. A little and bit it, of a wind. If you like home games, next week on Saturday we have a big home game. We're going to be starting out against Spotswood. It will be a 1 o'clock game here. That's September the 4th. Then we go into a bye week. Rams are going to be getting set. Um, Coach Marchese sends up, gave us notification. They're going to be introducing the Rams offense. Here we go, our starting offense. Number five is going to be split in. Jeff Ferreira. Next we got our tackle, number 54, Joe Lakatos. In the guard position, we got number 18, Devin Scott. Returning center, number 51, Matt Marchese. Guard on the other side, number 77, Jaden Harper. Tackle next to him is going to be number 74, Daquan Culber. And their tight end is going to be number one, Jordan Crawford. Now in the backfield area, we got for our flanker, number nine, Joe Lapore. In our backfield, fullback returning number 33, Marcus Grandiero. And he'll be doing some blocking for our number two, our tailback, DeAndre Morris. And last but not least, returning as our quarterback, Ryan Kurtz. And here's the rest of the South River Rams team. Our South River Rams squad for 2021. Art, size seems like they've been conditioning, working along what they got to do. Um, a lot of players, majority of players are all healthy. Now going to get ready for our national anthem. Going to get ready for our national anthem and 
Keep in mind those that we lost recently overseas. That was our national anthem by the South River Rams band. Fred, success for the Rams today. Score first. Defense has to pick it up a notch also, Art. They got to put the numbers up on the board and not give the score back to the other squad. They're getting ready here to be coming out. We'll announce who our captains are for today. I see number 12. That's going to be Ryan Kurtz. I see number 2. That's DeAndre Morris. Number 74, Daquan Culbert, and number 33, Marcus Grandiero. And for the other squad, we'll try to get their name and numbers. Looks like we got number 58, Mike Curlew. There's the flip of the coin. South River wins the toss. They're going to defer, which means the Tigers will be receiving. The Rams will be going from your right to left, and the Tigers will be going left to right. I think that was number 26, Bryce Hollis. Tigers are a young team, um, graduated a lot. Uh, we tried to find out who the starting quarterback would be. The coach wasn't even sure. We have it narrowed down to two players for right. them. We're going to watch. One's going to either be uh, senior Tyler Ballant or junior Joseph Maroney. We'll find that out in just a few moments here once they come out to get set. Hard to believe, Art, we're already here into football. Yep. Two home games to start the season, which is nice for then, the Rams. Then a week off. Jalen Russell's going to be doing the, looking here, number 12 for the Rams. I'm standard corrected. That's going to be Ryan Kurtz. This game will be underway in a matter of seconds. Officials are ready. Players are ready. Waiting for there's the whistle. And this game is underway for the start of the season. This ball's taken here at about the 20-yard line. Gets up to the 25 to the 30. He's got some room. Gets hit at the 35. Still up on his feet. And ultimately taken down at about the 31-yard line. Number nine, Patrick Smith. Looks like we have Tyler Ballant. Yep, number 10, Tyler Ballant is going to be the starting quarterback right now. And you'll see some switching over with him in number 11, which will be Joseph Mar Maroney. It's like they're operating from the shotgun. They'll both do both shotgun. Man goes in motion. Resets. Coach sending in the play, calls it at the line. Takes it, they hand this one off over to number 32. Gonna try to work his, um, number two, try to work around the outside. 
Gets a gain of about four. That was carried by Jalen Russell. Good job that time by South River defense stringing that out. That's what you want to do. Get them to run out of room. Got a gain of about five yards on it. That's a little too much for a first down play, too. Here they go, get set. Same formation, different man in motion. Hand this one off, get it over there to number nine, Patrick Smith. And he gets up there, it's gonna be enough for the first down, gain of seven. Ball set right around at about the 46-yard line. Now he's going to go under center. Twin split to the left. Man goes in motion. Second man through gets the ball. He's got some room. Bulls his way up there for another first down. That was a carry by number 26, Bryce Har Hollis. Gain of about 12 on that run. All right. This is one of the concerns. they got to be able to stop them. Winning that game in the trenches is critical for, for the Rams. Got a first and 10 ball right now set at about the 43-yard line. you got to cut them down on first down so that they have second and third long. Once again, hands this one off over to number nine, Patrick Smith. Got a gain of five on it. They're just running left, running right. Nothing too fancy. Ball set right now at the 40. Looks like it's going to be a second and six. Rams need to make a stop in the backfield. They got to force them. They're going to predominantly run if they have to. Once again, fakes it to the first man, gives it to the second man right up the middle. Got a gain of about three. That was given again to number 26, Hollis. About third and four. Ball set, third and six. Added a shotgun once again. Put that man in motion. They give it to him as he's going wide. Trying to get up and around. He's got a blocker. He's got enough, I think, for the first down. Going to be close. I think it's good, Art, unfortunately. He looks like he got a gain of almost six. That was carried by Jalen Russell. Yeah. Yep. First for 10 Tigers. So right now, Rams have not been successful in stopping him just yet. South Plainfield, three first downs already here in the first quarter. Now, once they get in the red zone, you're going to find out what they can do or what they're made of. Single man split wide to the left. Again, a quick handoff over to number nine, Patrick Smith. He gets forced out of bound, gain of about one on a play. Going to get a holding violation. That'll be their first penalty. That's going to be against the Tigers. Yeah, it's going to move the ball back. Big, big penalty here and knock them back to, now to the 45-yard uh, line. It's going to bring it down to a first and 21. And this has to change the thinking of the South Plainfield coach. Absolutely, and this is what the Rams want to force. Try to go right up the middle, nothing doing. Right, they're, they're starting to tighten it up now. Got that over there to number 26 once again. You know, and another thing that the Ram needed to improve on this year, you remember last year, they averaged over 100 yards a game in penalties. Hurt them a lot. Uh, if there was a plus for last year, they were averaging about 29 points a game on offense. Yep. So hopefully with that offensive squad, they can put solid numbers up there again. This is going to set a new tone if they can hold them here. you got a uh, 
Second and a mile and a half. Yep, up the middle. Oh, he's got, got a gain of maybe about three on the play. That's all. That was carried for, on that play by Patrick Smith. They're not a passing team, South Plainfield. Well, you're, you're this in, is sure a passing situation. You got a, you got a third and 16. Look, maybe for South River to put some pressure on the quarterback. Well, right now, they just want to contain. You, you don't want to let any receiver pass you. You're, whoever is set up on defense, your secondary has just got to be solid on this. Going to go out of the shotgun. Look to see if they put a man in motion. See if South River yep, might, there he, once might again, blitz. They're going to do the same thing, double double reverse. They got, he's got some room, and he's up, uh, right up through the middle. They gave that to him right there on the platter. Ball set at the 34-yard 30, run. Double reverse on that one. I think it was taken by number 21. Yep. That was Jacob Delvecchio. Nice run right up the middle. Somebody's got too many men on the field. I think it's against the Rams. Got the ball down, kick is up, and good. Really, the South Plainfield's offense in that series was just run, 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 simple stuff. Except for that double reverse at the end yep. here. That's what, what got him in here. So right away, South Plainfield up on the board with a 7 nothing. Rams got to come back and answer that one solid. Ferrer and Lepore are deep for the Rams. Anderson's going to be doing the kick in here. Uh, here you find the Rams already behind. You know, they, it would be nice if they stayed ahead. They're always fighting back. Well, we're gonna but we'll give that first one to the Earl Young jitters. Early, early season jitters for them. They played solid other than that one play here. That was it. Okay, get set. Players are set. Rams set up right now at about the 15-yard line. Here's the kick. It's going to be taken at about the 25 by Grandiero. Tries to go wide. He gets hit once, hit twice, and he goes down. Looks like about the 26-yard line here. Rams will get set. Ball is set right now. They're set. It looks like a 26-yard line. Come out there and see what they can do. Kurtz will be the one handling the ball. They can do both receiving and... Devin Scott went out holding his hand. I don't know, maybe just bent the finger. Rams get set out of the shotgun. Twins to the left. Uh, resetting. Set. 
Second man, True, gets the ball. Got a gain of about four. That was over to Mars. Preseason, South River had some success with misdirection carries. Coach Marchese, I always talk about his bag of tricks. He can get something rolling here. If he can grind it out with players, he's going to grind it out. Split, single man split wide to the right, twins to the left. Once again, get it over there to Mars. Good tackle. Good tackle, back to the line of scrimmage only. Got a third and six situation for the Rams. Kurt's coming over to set up. It'd be a passing situation, you'd think. He's not afraid to throw. The wind right now on the field would be going from right to left across the field. Yeah, South Plainfield playing up pretty tight. Bobbled the ball. He's got it, but he's going to be taken down for a loss. A loss of about four. It's going to bring up fourth down situation. Not the start that the Rams nope. wanted to have. You know, like you said, Art, could be the early season jitters. Quick one, gets the kickoff, it's going to be right around midfield, takes the bounce. He's up there to the 45, trying to get a little bit of a line. He's to the 40, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. He's going to take this one all the way back. And there's a flat, late flag on the other side of the field. Unless it was a celebration one or... That'll be a 53-yard return. Appears to be against South Plainfield. See what the official's going to indicate here. Hold. That's what it looked like all along. That's a big break for the Rams, Art. A real big break yep. for the Rams. You would not want to start out two scores behind already. That'll be enough to give the Rams a first down. All right, all right, it's yeah. going back from where it was. Meyer, all right, big play there for the Rams, um, for, for South Plainfield being negated. They're going to set up first and, and 10. Looks like it's set right now at about the 38. I would expect South Plainfield to keep on doing what they were doing on their first series. Uh, predominantly a run squad. Right. And they, they set up that man in motion as to who they've been turning the ball over to gotta, as he comes by. South River, you got to pinch the ends to keep them contained. There once it is. again, same play once again. Gets it over to number nine. Better. Patrick Smith, gain maybe of two. Gain of one. Yeah, to bring up a second and nine situation. That's what the Rams got to do. Don't hurt if you're moving left and right, Art. That's all I gotta do right. is as long as you're not moving forward. Coming around. Same thing once again. Uh oh. Oh, he's got some room and a foot race. I don't see any flags on this one. This one's gonna go all the way. Number two, Jalen Russell on the 40 
60 yard run on that one. Jalen Russell takes that one for a 60 yard gain. Not the start we anticipated for the Rams. Now they were not, not containing the outside run. Anderson getting ready to do the extra point kick here. Gets the snap, it's set, kick is up, and good. So that's going to start it out with a 14. So right now on the board, the visitors come in, the Tigers starting their season. With 14 points up on the board and the Rams yet to score, it'll be getting the ball here for their second possession. Hopefully you just coach speaking to their players here. Art, I do not think anyone was expecting nope. this at all. 3.32 left here in the first quarter. We do not have a clock on the scoreboard. Thank you, Art. All right, the other problem that you're faced with for, for both squads, not using it as an excuse, practice starts on the 9th. Here we are on the 28th of August, one week earlier, playing on what they, they refer to as week zero. A lot of squads opted not starting until next week. So you lost that one week of practice here. Players get set. Another short kick taken at about the 17-yard line to the 20, to the 30. Cuts back the other way and gets forced out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Good return on that one. Rams will be taking over. First and 10 balls. Looks like it's set at about the 38-yard line. I think everybody's a little surprised that's on this side of the field to see where we're at right now. Definitely unexpected. Man goes in motion, takes the snap, hands it off, gets a little bit of room. Ball over to number five, Guerrero. Got a gain of about two. South Plainfield doing a nice job containing the run for South River. Ferreira gets the ball on that, gain, say about maybe three. There's a flag. Delay a game, trying to see what they're going to call it. That's a warning on the sideline with the players. They got to stay back behind a certain line. That'll be their warning. When it goes wrong, it goes wrong, Art. Get the ball over to the left side. Gets up there. He's got the first down, and it's going to be a late flag. There's a flag there. Got a nine yard gain. See who the flag's gonna be against. Otter waving, waving a flag off.
what they needed. Second man true. Good, good, good drive on that. That's where your offensive line's doing what they got, a gain of five. I don't know if we're trying to lull them to sleep for a pass play or. I normally coach Marquez if what he's doing is working, he'll stay with it. I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if he's going to air it out, but you, you don't know for sure just yet. I think they're trying to get their offense established here. Get that one up there. It gets hit at the line of scrimmage. Gain of about one. Gain of one by Ferrer on that play. So at the end of the first quarter, we have the score 14 for South, Am South Plainfield and nothing for the Rams. Rams trying to mount a little bit of a drive here. South Plainfield with three first downs, the South River with one for that quarter. But South Plainfield had the two big plays there. That's a lot the tough of yardage part. already. A lot of yardage on here. As you look, Russell had the 60 yard run, and that double reverse did not help. Rams now going left to right here in the second quarter. Third down and about six. This is a big play, Art. They got to they gotta get the first down here. Got to get the first. Oh, he's dropping back to pass. He's got a little Throw bit of room. But he's being chased. Almost uh, intercepted. Uh, maybe two down territory, though, Art. I, I don't, I don't anticipate they're going to pump from the 35-yard line. Like I always talk about that bag of tricks, now may be the good time for the Rams right. to do something here. You got a, uh, looks like a fourth and six situation. Kurtz took a pretty good shot after he let that pass go through. Got to protect your quarterback. With Kurtz back there, though, you don't know for sure. Good no, kick. he's going to go with a little bit of like a squib kick. Takes the bounce. Oh, this they is stop good. it at the one-yard line. So well played for the Rams. It'll South Plainfield will take over with the ball at the one-yard line. Uh, this is, this is uh, Rams got to make something happen on this possession here. Art, right, they just have to contain them. Contain them, give them that one or two yards, that's plenty. I mean, the Rams aren't playing out of first gear yet. They haven't. And there, you, remember, you're down two scores right now, 14-0. Right. Got them, their backs against the wall here. Hopefully they can force some mistakes by, by South Plainfield here. Force a turnover. He's going to just make some runs to try to get some operating room here. Well, they're in a position. If the, if he's taking a snap out of the shotgun, there's the possibility. Be, I was going to say I'd be surprised, but he's got that possibility of hitting him back there for a safety. There goes the Working sweep. Working it to the sweep. He's still up. Gets forced out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. And another carry there by number nine. 
That's going to be Smith. South Plainfield's winning first down here constantly. And ironically, they're just taking it left wide, right wide, left right. wide, nothing, right wide. Nothing fancy. No, nothing at all. See what they do. Got a second and three. Drops back, gives it to the man coming around. The, he got hit and taken down. No gain on that one. Bryce Hollis got stopped solid on that. Big play, still they got a third and three situation. We gotta stop him here to get good field position. That's exact, took the words right out of my mouth, Art. Formation's pretty much the same, splitting that single man wide right. Added a shotgun. Timeout. Timeout. Coach saw something he wasn't happy with. So that'll be the first timeout of the game here, taken by the Plainfield Tigers. All right, thoughts about this first half so far? Not what I expected. All South Plainfield. And again, the Rams are able to contain to an extent, but they're giving up a couple of big plays, and those big plays are costly. You can see the wind blowing. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect them to do anything different than what they're doing on their sweeps. Yeah, they're, they're gonna getting good yardage. That was our varsity cheerleaders out there doing a great job. Here we go, big play. Same thing they did last time. But this time they go once again with that double reverse. It's yeah, going to depend like where they mark it. it. But, yeah, they're marking it on the line. And it's got it by one. It's going to be a gain of four. Good second effort on here by Smith. Enough for the first down. So you got a first and ten set at the 15. Yeah. I mean, they'll control the ball. By, ru by running, they, won't, they, they don't pass. Best way to stop the Ram right. offense is keeping, keeping them off the field. Same thing once again. Good play on that one. That run was by Jalen Russell. No gain on that one. So you win first down here. You should know what's coming at you. It, it, I would expect a sweep. Well, it's after we're starting to close up the middle. They, you just can't let them. They refer to it as going banana. You go wide enough to stop them from getting around the outside. Quarterback takes it. Right Hands are going to try it up the gut. They got him. Hey, they got him, and he's going down. That one stopped. That once again, that's Bryce Hollis getting stopped. And you got a rim that's down on the field. No gain. Barbara Janiskevich going out there. Not what we'd like to see, but we're happy that she's one of the best around. Better checking that right leg or knee, ankle. Well, 
like it's Anton Colbert. Yeah, it's, it's Jordan Colbert. Or Jordan Colbert. Col oh, I'm sorry, Daquan Colbert is 74. <laughs> I'm trying to double check on that with the number. They're working, looks like the ankle. Could have, someone could have rolled on him. Not with anyone. You never want to see a player nope. getting injured all the more at the first game of the year. Yep, that was Daquan Colbert, 74. Uh, big boy there. Comes in 5'11", 320. Good to see him up and moving. Getting off on his own, even though it's slowly. As Coach Terry should say, throw some dirt on it, get out yeah, of Coach Terry, uh, they recently had a little get-together for Coach Terry, and a lot of his former players showed up and all nice. Nice tribute to a wonderful coach. Oh, oh a face mask against the Tigers on that play also. So it's going to bring up a second and. Now we'll see how the depth chart works. Culprit's replacement. Colbert coming out there. He's their right tackle. Looks like they have in for him. Looks like it may be, no, that's Harper, 77. Trying to take it right up the middle. He's got a gain of about seven on the play. Once again, that's number 26, Hollis. Gain of seven. Third and long. Looks like Andrew Stefalo, Stefaro's in. Hold them here. It should force them to punt. Oh, a big play here. Even though it's early on in the game, big play. Oh, not what they wanted. Oh, my goodness. It's becoming even a bigger play now. It's a foot race. They're trying to get to him, and he's going to take it all away. Eighty-four yard run. Eighty-four yard run on that one by Patrick Smith. Again, three big plays, all costly to the Rams. They're taking it right up the gut against the Rams. Starting to dig themselves a hole. They're not going to be able to get out of it. All right, you're down. You're down 20. Looking possibly at 21. There's the snap, the kick, and this one's going to be good. So it's a 21 nothing ball game right now. Here in the second quarter, Rams have to mount some of an offense here. Yep. certainly quieted the Ram fans. I don't think any of them expected a situation like this this early in, in the season with the number of seniors they had returning. And in the scrimmages, they did good work against the run. Eight thirty-seven. you may have heard we have an unofficial scoreboard but the official up here just indicated 837 left to go in the first half I think it's important that the Rams put at least one score up yeah, on the board they have they to need, do something, that. They need their, something for their own their momentum. body language right now isn't too thrilling not what you want to say not what you want to say oh. our varsity cheerleaders Entertaining the fans here. Nice job by all these young ladies. Here we go, back to the action. Ball's kicked off. Looks like about the 24, 25 yard line. He's up to the 30, looking for an opening. I'll slid down on the grass. 
Going to be taken down at about the 34. Rams will take over first and 10 from the 34-yard line here. Look to South River. They, they got to open up their offense. They got to just come out here and play their game. And you're, yeah. they're being forced into a situation where they catch up ball. We, we're, we're well aware of it from the past. One, one of the problems that the Rams have early on in the season is catch up ball. I did not anticipate this, but there's a lot of time left in this game. Just got to do them one at a time here, one at a time. He's got some room, airing this one out. Uh, uh, just a little, ah, uh, there's a flag. Late flag on air, may have been pass interference. Oh, it's going to be holding. Got a holding penalty. That's going to be against the Tigers. That'll be a big plus for the Rams. Be enough for them to have a first and ten situation here. So penalty is not helping South Plainfield, and in fact, putting solid numbers on the board for the Rams. There's a football around here, guys. Yep, got a first and down. Rams get set, first and ten. Kurtz fakes the handoff. Ball got deflected right at the line. Incomplete. Bring up a second and ten situation. One man wide open. Bring up a second and ten situation. Fakes the handoff, looking for some room. He's got some room, takes it up the middle. Holds on to the ball, gets taken down, but he got a gain of about six on the play. Oh, not what they needed. That may be on Kurtz. Officials talking it over. And you don't want to take your helmet off on the field nope. also. Complicate matters. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Rams. Not going to help yourself here, guys. Or brings the ball back all the way to the 34-yard line. It's going to bring up a third and 25. Third and about 18. Sorry, third and 18. My error. But not what they needed, Art. Not what they needed there. And Kurtz has got to compose himself. Oh, yeah. Now he's got to compose himself. He's the quarterback there. He's got to be one of the leaders out there. you got to take that play, put it behind you, and just move forward. And there's a timeout called by the Tigers. Got a few minutes left here in the first half. Rams just have to mount offense here, Art. They've not been able to put any solid numbers up on the board at all. Our varsity cheerleaders doing their best to get these Rams ignited here. Well, I would not want to be in a locker room at halftime, Art. No. I don't think coach, any of the players expect, especially the seniors, it's where seniors got to turn around, take control, and make this work properly. Uh, 
I mean, you can see at South Plainfield, they're hopping on, on, on their feet. Their body language is better. Yeah. Rams just got to turn around and say, look, there's no 21-point play we could run. Let's chip away at it, put one score on the board, hold them. Put a second score on the board, and you got a brand-new ball game. Easier said than done right now for the Rams. Here we go. Ball set just about the 35-yard line. Yeah, that'll be five yards. Let's change that up. That's what they need. To but it's obvious they were blitzing. Yeah, that's an understatement. So whether the Rams come up maybe with a screen or something. Just got to chip away at it, Art. Chip away at it. You're back at first and 11, a third and 11. Uh-oh, somebody's going to get chewed out here. You have to use the player missing. Just under seven minutes to go here in the uh, first half. And once again, varsity cheerleaders doing their best. Big play for the Rams. They get set here. They got to get something big on this one. Third and 13. Ball right now set. Looks like it's set on the 40-yard line. They got to get up down all the way to about their 47. Rams get set. Fake the handoff. Quick pass up there. Held on to it, but just one yard short. Got that one over to Jordan Crawford. Gain of about 12. See what the Rams are going to do if they try to pull them off sides here. Might be a possibility. If there's anything the Tigers did, I had to tell them, don't get pulled off. There, there were different cadence to try to force them to come in. That stood up. He got stood up. Uh, it's going to be close. Going to be real close. Probably have a measurement on this yeah, one. Yeah, but I, I don't like where they're getting set here. It's going to be just shy. And when I say just shy, by less than the football, I think. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be short. They'll come out and measure. All right, I'm just looking at where the yeah where the midfield line is, and it doesn't look too promising. Here they come. We'll know in a matter of seconds. Hopefully, my eyes are not as good as I want them to be. Here they go. They get set. It's no nope, just them. short, less less than less than a football. That was a big play there. So the ball's gonna be set at the 49 yard line. That was a big play that they yep. had to come up with, and they did. Just nothing going right. Not getting a break. Okay, see what the Rams got to do here. Going back to the defense saying, guys, you got to mount up and stop them here. Takes this one, pitches it back. 
He's got some room. Got hit. Got a good gain, though. Gain of about five on that. I think they got that over to Jason Greer. Gets a gain of six. All right, they're doing it. In the, the, the wide left, wide right, up the middle, yep. and then Nothing one big fancy. play. Nothing fancy, but they, they're getting the big plays out of it. They're getting good penetration at, uh, off of the line. I'm, I'm just somewhat surprised. Yep. Same thing once again. Yep. Cuts back in, taken down. Got a gain of about two more, though. Over to Smith once again. Third and two. But the way they've been moving the ball, they may go for two downs with it. Once again, that reverse. double reverse. It was effective the first time, and again, it's effective here. They're going to get the first down. Jalen Russell carrying that one for at least four yards, and more than enough for the first down. Eating up clock. Yeah, I don't know how much time is left here in the first half. I got a feeling it's going to be maybe two minutes, three minutes tops. Both teams keeping it on the ground. That clock's moving. That's the first pass. time he's airing it out. It's up for grabs. Oh, incomplete. Yeah. Should have had the interception. Yeah, take it any time we can get it. Going to bring up a second and ten. So a bobble the ball. Rams got it. Looking for the official. Yeah, and the officials call it. Bobbled the ball on it. Rams, big break. That's the first big break the Rams got this game, Art. They needed this. Yep. Time. Yeah, just over four, four minutes 15, to go. They can, time. They, they can put some numbers on the board. Yeah. Little hope. Give and momentum. Again, momen yeah, it's, I was just going to say, hope for that momentum change right now. This is what you need. If they can get it, it can generate something for us here. Yeah, time and time again. I don't understand. They don't have the right, right having the problems with they the, don't personnel have the right personnel. personnel don't understand. They should know. Pitching this one out. Reverse. Reverse from the... No, didn't they, they didn't work at all. Loss of five. five Tried to get that to Ferreira, but he got a loss of five on that one. Four-minute warning. Got a second and 14 right now. They get set out of the shotgun. He may have been going over there for, oh, oh. Incomplete. Kurtz is taking a pretty good beating, starting to limp. Well, on that one, I think they were trying to, well, I, I thought. 
Yeah. Thought they were trying to set up as a screen the way the line yeah. came in. And then when he went, he saw Lapore open. Timeout taken here by the Coach Marchese. Okay, you got a third and 14. Just not generating anything, Fred. Offense is just not clicking. Nope. And I thought it would be more of a problem with the defense, but they're not clicking either way. Offensively and defensively running into a problem. He's got some room. He's got a nice gain on it, but not quite enough. Got a gain of about nine over to Ferreira. Fourth and six. Looks like he's going to punt. Oh, yeah, I think he'd have to. He's got a lot of field left there. Going back to the huddle again for. Letting the clock run down. Going to call timeout. Probably over here says to the official when there's one second left. Yeah, we, the back judge is raising his hand. Yeah, usually that back judge will go with about five seconds left. Smart play. You want to eat that clock, leave them as little time as possible on the board. Two oh nine left on the clock here. <coughs> as we indicated earlier, ladies and gentlemen, the Rams got a big rivalry game next Saturday, one o'clock game here at Denny Stadium against their quote nemesis, Spotswood. A lot of the players you saw announcing that the one game they want to win is Spotswood, and hopefully the Rams can come out. A lot of game left here right now. Just over two minutes to go. Rams anticipate be punting from right about midfield. Cutter loading them up there. Punt was blocked. Taken down. Ball's going to be set right about at the 40-yard line. Line is just not holding up anything. South Plainfield will be taking over first and 10 from the 40 with just about two minutes to go here in the first half. Here they go. They're going to get set. We know what to anticipate. I haven't seen anything much other than that. Once again, same thing, trying to work their way and go wide. Good play. Stopped them at the line. It's Patrick Smith again. No gain on that one. Second and ten. Big play on that one. Crawford. Jordan Crawford, one of the seniors up there holding them. I would, them. I would assume that South Plainfield's coach is going to run it out. He'd be happy to go in with a three-touchdown lead. Uh, absolutely, but he'll, I think he's going to keep going like he is now. Yep. Go left, go right, try to get him. Man in motion, hand it off. Same thing again. Oh, a little razzle-dazzle here, airing it yeah, out. He's behind him. Good play. Good play. Turned around, incomplete. So it usually is Coach Marchese pulling the tricks out yep. of his hat to coach for South Plainfield doing it now. Six, 
and that will stop the clock also. Third and ten. That might have been his one shot that he's taken. And we'll see what they're going to do. Uh, nothing on that one. Loss of five. That'll run the clock. Fourth down situation. They may even let the clock run down. If they do, you're not going to have much time left on the clock right. anyway. I would think less than a minute, if that. Just got it from the official. 45 yeah. seconds left till halftime. Got to run at least this play. A timeout. It's going to be a timeout by South Plainfield. Our, I would guess at halftime, coach is going to go back to basics and say, look, here's what we have to do. Let's go back to basics and do it. we got to do one play at a time, one score at a time, one possession at a time. Right. Get these kids going. Look, got a lot of heads hanging low. Got a lot of players. You can see it in the body language. you got to get them motivated. I was a little surprised to see the motivation not there when you got 12, 15 seniors. Right, you got veterans coming, out veterans there. Veterans out there, exactly. Hey, they're reading too much of their own publicity. I don't know well, what it is. Well, you can read what you want. You win and lose the game between the goal lines. I imagine he's punting. Kind of short. No. I don't know if he's going to punt. He wants to run some clock. Right. He's willing to give up that ball at the 50-yard line. Different quarterback there. Oh! Well, and he would have been on the money. Right. Would have been, been on the money. was right on the money for him. Hit him in the hands. Yeah, that's the problem. So the Rams will get possession here, probably with about 30 seconds left to go. First and 10 for the Rams. Ball set at 44, 45 yard line. Would not shock me, Coach Marchese takes the knee. Well, Let the time run out. Just go there and regroup. Or take one shot maybe with the hook and ladder or something. If you could. Clock's up there. Got hit right at the line. Still up on his feet. Got a gain of about four. Call timeout. Over to Mars. If he's going to take one shot. Timeout on the field. 19 seconds left to go in the first half. 19 seconds. Timeout, South River. All right, I think you may have hit the nail on the head. This would be an ideal hook and ladder play. Yeah. If you catch the other team off guard a little bit, that would also give you momentum going into the locker room. I'm sure they practice if they've done it before. As we can anticipate. See if they're going for that one last big play. I'm sure South Plainfield said nobody is past our secondary. Nobody is let past them. 
He drops back, looks around, he's airing it out. Oh, there's going to be a flag, and he can't end the period on it. Pass interference would be about at about the 15-yard line. Oh, I think it, they don't do it from the spot of the foul. No, I know, they'll march it off, but I mean, it was right there. Right. You'll get one last shot. And, and it cannot end on a defensive penalty. March it off is going to get the ball up there for him. They can put it up into the end zone. Yeah. It's going to bring the ball around the 38-yard line. That they should change in high school. It should be from the point of the foul. Well, but they'd be smart if you're getting beat just to tackle I, the understood, guy. Understood. Understood. I agree. Here you go. A little bit of a personnel change here for the Rams. They get at least one play, possibly two. Real spread offense. Yeah, split us. left it and trips right. Yep. Get them down here and air it out. Flag. Offsides. And the South River guy was lined up in the neutral zone. It's against the Rams. A five yard penalty. Here we go, Rams get set. There's the snap, looking to air it out. It's got some room. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, though. that's a lot you need there. I don't know if they have any timeouts left if they do. That's halftime. Or is it a timeout? I'm looking to see. Yeah, that's halftime. So we finish the first half with the score. The Tigers 21, the Rams nothing. We'll be back right after halftime with the balance of this ball game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready for the start of the second half. The score to South Plainfield Tigers 21, your Rams nothing. All right, what at first half dominated by the Tigers. The Rams were able to hold them, but then three big plays. First one they got in the first period was a 34-yard run. Del Vecchio took it in for a score. The extra point was good. They were up 7 nothing. A little bit of a double reverse. Second, again in the, in the first period with 3.30 left to go. 60-yard run by Russell. Extra point was good. They were up 14 nothing, and then wrapped it up in the second quarter with an 84-yard run. I'm sorry, kick return with Smith there. 21 nothing. Unbelievable. Not expected for the Rams. Not expected for the Ram fans. They got to come out. Hopefully this first series, since the Rams will be taking possession, get, receiving the kickoff, they got to come around big time here and make something, generate yeah. some points up on the board. I, I don't think South River generated 50 yards in, in offense. It's It's been tough for them. Um, Kurtz has been got hit a number of times. He's slowed down. You could see it when he's moving around. Um, the one personal foul just uncalled for for the Rams. They just got to get discipline. I personally thought with the number of seniors that they have, you were going to see a little bit of a difference as far as taking control and, and, and getting players motivated. Uh, we talked off camera for this possession here for the Rams. Oh, big, big real big you got to be able to turn around and start with not only a solid possession, not a field goal. you got to put seven up on the board. Absolutely. And it, you, there's no 21-point play like we talked about it. Here it is, guys. We get the ball, drive it downfield. I don't care if it takes the whole quarter. If we're down 21-7, we just got to hold them once. And if we score a second time, it's a brand-new ball game. you got to keep them in there. Coach Marchese has been through this both when he played and over the years of coaching. His coaches know what it's like. These players got to just take pride and do it one step at a time. Okay, fans, we'll start the second half. 
Rams are going to be going from your left, to, I'm sorry, from your right to left. South Plainfield will be coming out, going left to right. I would not underestimate anything, whether it's an onside kick, whether it's a long kick, whether it's a short kick. you got to expect everything and be prepared. When you're up 21, you can afford to do anything. Well, that's why I'm saying they got to be prepared for it, to expect the unexpected right now. If I was the South Plainfield coach, I would, I would think twice. Maybe I'll do an onside kick. Maybe they won't expect that. You, you, from his end, he's going to say, they've not been able to generate long, sustained drives. Let's take advantage of whatever we could. Rams, they just got to say, we got to click. We got to make it work our way. Well, we'll know in a matter of seconds what we're going to be doing here. The start of the third period with the Rams deficit, 21 nothing. This one's going to be a kick taken at about the 20. He's up to the 25, to the 30, to the 35. Still up on his feet. And he gets taken down right about the 35-36 yard line. Good return here. Yeah. And this is all they got to do. He was an ankle away from scoring on a touchdown. Nice return here. I think that was by Jahan Bright. Uh, one of the footballs was on the wrong side of the field. Okay. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay, our cheerleaders are ready. The fans are ready. Hopefully the team's ready. Here we go. Breaking the huddle for the first play to se of the second half. Kurtz up under center. Full house backfield right now. Pitch this one back. He's going to try to go wide. They follow him down the line. Got a gain of about two. That was DeAndre Morris. Rams just got to put together a sustained drive here. Got a second and eight situation. Okay, second and eight. Pitches this one back. He's got a little bit of room, still up on his feet. Taken down just shy of the 40-yard line, gain of about two more. That was Darius Armstrong. They, South Plainfield, they, they do a nice job going to the ball. They're, they're giving them as much yardage as they want left and right. You're not letting them go forwards or backwards. Looks like I'm going to call it th uh, third and six and a big play. Here they go. Drops back to pass the ball. Got the ball off, incomplete. Good defense by the Tigers on there. That's going to come up with a fourth and five situation. The anticipated kick on this one. Punt it back. Fourth down situation. Rams break the huddle. Kurtz back to do the kicking. They're going to try to come in again. This one he gets it off. It's going to go out of bounds. Probably in the area of about the 35-40 yard line. Look where he marks it. Marking it right on the 39 yard line. So first and 10 for South Plainfield Tigers. Ball set right about the 39 yard line.
So South Plainfield will take off, take over with that punt. First and ten, they're marking it right on a 40-yard line. We didn't want to see a three and out. No, we did not, Art. So, so now this defense, which haven't been doing very well, has to make a turnover. They have to. I was just going to say, it's not that they got to stop them. they got to force a turnover here. Same thing they've been doing, wide left, wide right. He just works his way around. You're, you can't yeah. tackle him high. He's got a gain of about seven. That was by number number nine. That's Smith again. He's their lead carrier right now. We got him unofficially over 120 yards. Second and four. Our varsity cheerleader is doing her best trying to cheer him on. Scrambling for the ball. He's got the first down and then some. He's going to go down right about the 46-yard line. That'll be a first down. And a late flag. And yeah, there's been a lot of drawing going on by both teams. <coughs> See who they're going to call it. I would anticipate an unsportsmanlike by one of the two squads. Uh, sound play field seems to be walking backwards. Who knows? Uh, offsetting. So, ball will be back there. Got a first down situation. Be first and ten. Ball will be set at about the 46 yard line. Same thing once again. Looks, gets the middle. Still up on his feet. Got a gain of about four. I think they gave that one over to Jalen Russell. Gain of four. Bring up a second down and six. Same thing, double reverse once again. Ah, oh, the Rams are on him this time. Hit him back for a five-yard loss. That's what the Rams got to do. So their defense is certainly getting the job done right now, Art. Yep. You got a third and ten situation. When you have them in third and long, you got to not let them do anything to get that first down. And you down can't and let them get past you. Fakes it one way, gets it the other way. Gonna be, looks it's like gonna it's be just short. shy. But again, with the way they've been playing, I would go for it. Looks like it'll be fourth and one. Yeah, I would go for it if yeah. I was them. They've been able to put numbers up there every time. Got to go goal line or something here. You could even be a quarterback sneak. There it there is. There it is. Might have stopped them. They may have stopped them. Yeah, that's definitely short. Definitely short. That's what the Rams need, a play. A but, play, right. a play, a play. One at a time. We have shown absolutely no offense at all yet. And we, we need to, to make something happen to get these kids lit up. Numbers are not big either on the receiving or on the running game for the Rams.
And they got one guy back. Everybody's up on the line. He's scrambling. Airs it out. Incomplete. Ah, players down. Hopefully it just cramps. Yeah, it looks like he's cramping up. That's usually an indication. Got to stay hydrated, even though you don't think of it when it's not real hot out. You got to stay hydrated. We just got word a few minutes ago. Congratulations to the uh, boys' soccer team coming out with a win today. We don't know who they played. Yeah, they won. It's like this. I have some great <laughs> scores from, from today's schedule. 10-6, to 11-5, and a squeaker, 2-1. Uh, to one. <laughs> At least we can still smile, Art. Right? Yep. All right, he's up and off the field. Good sign there. That was Michael Green for the Tigers. Okay, got a second and ten situation for the Rams. I would just really like to see him get a long, sustained drive. That'll do a lot for the players. Just like to see him get a score. They got over here, they got twins to the right and nobody, uh, twins to the left and nobody picked, oh, now he comes. Say nobody picked him up. Oh, he pulled the ball right out of his hands. Not what. Not what you wanted to see there. Trying to say that was either number. All right, it was Patrick Smith on that one. All right, can't get any worse. No. Hey, fans, last call for the 50-50 right now in the home stands, 40-yard line. Last call for the 50-50. Pot is over $200 to the winner. Get set for the extra point. Ball's down. Kick is up. And good. Put you at a 28 nothing ball game. Art, nothing too too much to be excited about nope. if you're a Ram fan here. Seven minutes and one second remain in the third quarter. Seven on one. Just over seven minutes to go here in the fourth, third quarter. All right, hard to believe that yesterday we were in the mid 90s. Yeah. Today we're lucky if it's 70. Everything going right if you're wearing green and white yeah. and not going well for the Rams. <laughs> Got to give a lot of credit to their new coach they have. Yeah. He's been one of the assistant coaches there. He's been with a number of squads prior to this. He's got a small side club. I mean, they're not experienced, but they're doing the fundamentals. And doing them very well. Rams get forced out of bounds just shy of the 40-yard line. 
Ironically, in talking about their head coach, Bill Hamilton, uh, he's a 1988 graduate of South Plainfield. He's one of the longtime positions he wanted to hold. He's coached with Serval during her time that they got their sectional titles and all. Been coaching for a number of years, both as an assistant and as a coach, but really wanted to get back home, which he is, and he's is there some starting kind of it off. Penalty? Yeah, penalty for. Try to see what the call is. It's got to be personal foul. Personal foul, late hit. Penalty that been South River's best offense so That's far. That's over 65 yards in penalties against South Plainfield. So Rams are set right now. Ball set at about the 47. Going to work out of the shotgun. Kurtz looks. Quick shot over to middle. Him. Got him. This is what they needed. And he gets that ball all the way down to about the 20-yard line. Gets that over to Ferrer. Ball set, I'm sorry, at about the 12-yard line. 31-yard gain. He had nice pass. Simple Good spiral by him. Simple slant and wide open in the middle. Uh. Another player down for South River. Not helping him out with the with the weather. The ball was going in his direction, which is all they needed. Trying to see who that is that's down, Art. <laughs> Again, looks like it's more cramping in the legs than anything else. It's just not staying hydrated. Both squads having the same problems. Good sign. That's just a cramping situation. Could be a lot worse. Rams can't even get a good long uh, completed pass and not end up with something short-handed. Let me tell you, I've been there with cramps. Or not oh, fun. you know it. You got that right. Okay, back to the action. We got the Rams first and 10 from about the 14-yard line. Our varsity cheerleaders cheering away, looking for the Rams as they're knocking on the door here. Got him. Got him if he's got the ball. And it's a touchdown. That's just what the Rams needed. Over to Ferreira. And here's a late flag. Uh. Celebration would be my guess. Not what they need. Yeah. 
Well, once you start passing like that, that's going to spread out their, their defense also. Well, a perfect pass. He had a step on the man. That's all he had to do was lay it in there. Here's the snap. Oh. It's bobbled. What? Unless they're calling the play dead. Unless he picked it up and his knee was down. So we got a 28 to 6 ball game. So the Rams got on the board. That's their first start. Now they just got to turn to the defense and say, let's force a turnover, and chip away at it if they can. And, and from what we've seen, you know Sal Plainfield is going to want to run that ball all they sure. could and eat the clock. The clock is their friend. That's right. That's the 12th man on the field for them. Good to hear the old alma mater at the game. Yeah. Means they're scoring. And the only thing I can figure out the extra point is maybe the holder touched it and his knee was on the ground. Yeah, I'm going to get that. That would well, kill it. it. That would stop it. I don't know if that would stop it just because he touches the ball, but I'm sure the ball was dead for something here. Right. So Rams are kicking off from their 25-yard line. Not that they have enough problems up right. to now. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of a razzle-dazzle play. Ball's loose. And looking to see what it is. I didn't see any indication yet. Waiting for the official. Official oh. says South Plainfield. <laughs> Don't take your helmet off on the field, guys. That Kurtz, he's got to cool down. Ball's going to be set at the 43. It'll be first and 10. Nice job by our cheerleaders. You know, when, when everything's going against you, you've you got to pull up your bootstraps and go to work. That's the name of the game. That's why I said you put the no score, put the numbers on the board, and come back and force a turnover. Second man through, no gain. That's what they got to do. One guy hits him low. Grandiero hit him low. Stop him near right on the spot. Bring up a second and ten situation. Here they go, trying to find a way through. He got hit, got a gain of only about three. Oh, the gain of... That was over to Smith, gain of four. A third and long. It's going to make it, uh, looks like a third and seven situation. Here we go. Third and seven. Man in motion. They give it to him again. He's got the room. He's got to the outside. Oh, and then some. I don't see a single flag. That's going to go in all the way. That was by number nine, Patrick Smith. They just shut him down and came right back. 38-yard touchdown run. 
Kick is up and good. Number seven, Caden Anderson, hammers through the extra point. South Frankio beats South River 35 to six. Just when things start to turn, you know, allow a third down play to go for a score. Art just not meant to be. So we got the score 35 to six right now. We got just under three minutes left to go in the third period. All right, I don't know what else can go wrong for the Rams today. Yep. You, you got a situation here. All you got to do is stop <laughs> them and hold them. It appears it's starting to rain. Well, maybe that'll help. <laughs> the dry weather certainly didn't help them any. Tigers will be kicking off once again. 35 to 6 situation here. Gets a kick. It's going to be ball bounces. Uh, picked pick up it about up. the 30. 25 to the 30. He's got a little bit of room to the 35 to the 40. Tries to keep going. He's going to be taken down right about the 45 yard line. So the Rams will take over first and 10 from the 45. Good return on that one. Jihad Bright. I think you're going to see a lot of throwing, Art. A lot of yep. throwing here by Kurtz. Here we go. Get ready to set. Oh, there's, there's spread offense on this one for Kurtz. Gets the ball, looks around. Airs this one out. Oh, right on the money to Ferreira. He's taken down at about the one yard line. Fifty three yards on that one. Had they not given up that touchdown here, you had a whole brand new ball game. Yep. You got a first and ten, for, a first and goal from about the two yard line. You'd think they can pound that in here one way or the other. I don't know what the holdup is. The discussion on the play. The officials. Two of the officials here discussing something. We'll try to find out what it is. Penalty was against the Rams, but oh. I just don't know what it was. Rams 
try to get a clarification. Chop block against the Rams. So the reception is good. Instead of being over there at the two yard line, it's going to come all the way back to what I'm guessing is the 17, 15 yard penalty. Yep. 15 yard penalty on there for the chop block. Well, Ferreira seems to be getting open. Give it to him again. Whatever you got to do, I think they're going to keep that ball going in the air. Got a first and 17 situation. They reset the, the markers. Drops back. Gets it off to Grandero. Still up on his feet. Taken out of bounds at about the minute, let's see where the two yard line. Might be the one yard line, taking it all the way up there. Yeah. They, so they got the penalty back. Why isn't there a faster ebb and flow with the game right now? You should know you need to move as quickly as possible. That's going to bring up first and goal to go now for the Rams. So got that one over to Grandiero. And touchdown. That's going to be taken in by DeAndre Morris. Go for two. Yeah, it would make sense to go. They're behind on that extra missed point. So right now you got a 35 12 ball game. Got it. So that makes it a 35-14 ball game. A little bit of a new situation here for the Rams, yep. and they just can't give it right back. That's Three the touchdown. biggest problem. Two quick touchdowns here yep. in the third period. They got to start to believe at this point. a little bit harder out there, Art. Yep. Maybe that'll help the Rams. <laughs> the good weather certainly didn't. Out. Oh, they, you, you need a couple of three and outs. Sorry, <laughs> you're down by 21. Yep. That ball is going to start getting slippery. Yep. Right? And that's going to affect the Rams more because he's been throwing, throwing well. Right. If he can't get a good grip on that, it's going to play a role in this. Here's the kick. Short kick. Takes a bounce. Picks it up at about the 30. It's to the 34 yard line. Grandiero in here again. He's all over the place. Yeah. First 
See what the Rams can do here. That defense has to pick it up a notch, and I mean a notch solid. Can't be much Three left in out. the third quarter. Passing shower. Yep, let it pass right by. <laughs> Here we go. We could use a fumble now or something. Well, you know they're going to try to run the ball. They want to eat that clock. Right. Quick handoff. Cuts back. No gain whatsoever. Got a gain of about one on that one. Bring up a second and nine scenario. And here's where they're eating up that clock. Yep. This is we, the official clock's not working here, so we get numbers second-handed. Same thing. Going to go up the other way, trying to get wide. And there he goes. He's got the first down. He's still up on his feet. Ran out of bounds. See where they're going to mark it. Marking him just about just about midfield. 15-yard gain on that one. That sweep has been killing them all day. All day long. That's that's the quarter. So the Rams got one quarter to put at least three scores up on the board. We got the score 35-14 in favor of South Plainfield. If you tuned in late, ladies and gentlemen, South Plainfield's been able to dominate. Del Vecchio scored on a 34-yard run. Extra point was good for a 7-0 ball game. Came back on a 60-yard run with Russell. Extra point was good. It was 14-0. 84-yard one with Smith, 21-0. Then he got the takeaway from the Rams player in the third period, 28-0. Rams were able to put up one score, make it 28-6. Kurtz to Ferreira on a big pass. Smith came back the other way, 35-6 ball game. And then over to Mars, Rams took it in, it went for two, and you got a 35-14 ball game right here at the start of the fourth period. Hey, fan, South River weather report says the heavy stuff isn't coming for quite a while. Here we go. First and ten. Ball set at about the 49. Hands it up, trying to get some room. He's got a gain of about five on it. Ramp got to make a stop. They, they got to they got to do it again and again and again. That was Russell, gain of five. They're going to squeeze and use this clock as much as they could here, taking as much time as they have to. I don't blame them. Often tell, often tell that quarterback until you see the official raising his hand, don't even hurry. Pitches it over to his right. Uh, Rams him stop time. him, gain the loss of about three. If you force them out of bounds, that'll stop the clock. I guess if they stop them here, they'll punt. Yeah, I wouldn't blame them on that one. Rams just got to play it tough. Third and nine. Just past midfield. Once again, There's trying to get to him to go with the sweep. Now he stopped. Got a gain right. of about three only. Hopefully he went out of bounds to stop the clock. Number two, Jalen Russell goes around the right end. Runs out of room and he runs into the 
to number nine, Joseph Lepore. It's going to bring up a fourth down six. Looks like fourth and seven. Brings up fourth down, six yards to go for the Tigers. From the Rams, 45. Clock is running. They break their huddle. Bobbled the ball. He's taken down, so it's Rams will take possession right there. Ball set at about the 45-yard line. Have a first and ten situation for the Rams. Question is how hard is it going to be to throw in this rain? That's what I was saying. Kurtz is really going somewhere with the throw. They ran the first half and went nowhere, and this they're is not, where the ball's going to be They're not covering wet. the ball over or anything during. Out of the shotgun. Trip split, split to the right. Offsides. Might have been an offsides against the Rams. Yep. Five more against the Rams. Bring up a first and 15. Again, at a shotgun. Kurtz got the ball quick, releases that one. Incomplete. Gotta Trying to get it. that over to gotta, Crawford. Got to catch it before you can run. Bring it up now to a second in, looks like about 14, maybe 15. Rams can't afford to give up the ball nope. without putting numbers up on the scoreboard. Clock's going to work against them one way or the other. Again, spread trips right, twins left, and he reset. Kurtz looks, gets a little room. Uh, got a gain of about three, but I don't think that's really what the play was going to be. Still got 11 or 12. This is four down territory from yeah. now on. This is where I'd expect Coach Marchese to pull something out of his hat. A little bit something to get him off guard with. Gets the ball, looks around, gets the pass off, ah, incomplete. Trying to get that over there to Crawford. I wonder if they're going to fake this one. He's got, ah, uh, it's going to be just short. If he's marking it right on the line, we can see it from here. If the ball's marked right on the 45, 
Oh, just shy to 45, so it's going to be their ball. You got to know where you got to get first down at. We did. <laughs> the guy who received the ball didn't. It's going to be short by about a yard. They don't even, you should not even have to do a measurement on this one. It's on the other side of the white line. There's no magic to it. Good hustle on that one, but not quite enough. Seven fifty five left here in the fourth period. Well, they got a week to work on their defense because any scout that was here today is going to come back and say, run on them. But they got seven minutes and 55 seconds to put three squares up on the board to win the game. Okay, Fred. <laughs> here we go. That's why you play the game. Force a turnover here. You give it to the first man through. He's looking to get around the outside, which he does. Still up on his feet. Good second and third effort. He's got a 10-yard gain and a first down. Smith doing a, a number today. 11-yard game. Going to be a first and 10. Sometimes simple works very well. And they're playing simple offense. Run left, run right. They come up with the big play, whether it was the double reverse, whether it's just steal the ball from the player, whether you get, they've just found a way to make it work. You're going to go wide. Oh, nice tackle on here to take them down. That was by Lapour. Everything is dead. Yeah. They blew something. Something blew on it. Shit. Oh, fuck. They blew the breaker. Shut it off. Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We had some technical difficulties because of the rain. The score is still 35 to... 14 for South River. Got a flag for encroachment. Sorry about that. Went out in the truck and we found the problem. Solved it. We're back on. You didn't miss too much. We kept the score. 35-14 while everybody was away. Narrowing down the amount of time we have left here. Good news for the camera and everything is okay. We're alive and well. Third and ten. The five-yard encroachment penalty against South Plainfield. Kurtz gets the quick pass out. Needed third and ten. Right now he got about to the line of scrimmage, still in bounds. Just had the four-minute warning. So we do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We had some technical difficulties, which we were able to resolve. Um, we're sorry to the fans. We know we're under four minutes to go, so we missed part of the fourth period, but at least we're up and running. Didn't miss anything exciting. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Nothing at all. Uh, if you tuned in late, ladies and gentlemen, this game was dominated the entire first half by South Plainfield. Rams have come back somewhat here in the second half, but the weather didn't cooperate, and the players field, everything's getting tougher for them, trying to make what they could. Again, not enough players set up properly. Yeah. Got to watch you don't get called on a delay of game. Snap the ball. Gets the snap, kicking this one off. Going to let it go. All you can do is keep away from it. And we are under four minutes to go. It'll be a first and ten situation for the... Tigers here with the Rams down by a score of 35-14. When you're down by 21, you punt. I guess that kind of means 
That's the ball game. Well, there's not too much they can do from where they're at. Test, test. Not fun trying to broadcast in the rain. The equipment doesn't like water. We try the best we can, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize, not done intentionally, but we try to make do with what we can. Even out on the field, they're having a tough time getting the markers set in time, getting adjustments for players. We will assume in the vicinity of three minutes or less. It's been an experience, everything from the start of this ball game to losing power, to getting the camera back. Take it right up the middle, got a gain of about four. It's going to bring a second and six situation up. There's a flag for a delay of game. No skin off their back. Nope. Well, there's going to be a lot of regrouping to have to be done in seven days. Coming up to the big rival spots right. with next week which complicates it for them, them being the Rams. Yep. <laughs> Cheerleaders trying as best they could to keep the morale up of the squad. And that's the ball game. So this game, we come to a conclusion here with the score. South Plainfield Tigers 35, the South River Rams 14. On behalf of myself, my good friend Art Lendensky, special thanks to Rich Dudas, Bob, and George Applegate, the gang out in the truck. Uh, sorry we had some technical difficulties. We try as best we could. Next week, 1 o'clock, we'll be back here, South River and Spotswood. Yeah, we'll here. see you with a different outcome. Hopefully a different outcome also. Thanks.